Today let us discuss about Williamson's synthesis. In Williamson's synthesis, sodium or potassium alkoxides on heating with alkyl halides gives ethers. And this is ether with a byproduct of sodium halides. Let us take the example of sodium ethoxide and ethyl iodide. Okay, we get diethyl ether and uh, sodium iodide as byproduct. Let us see the mechanism. Williamson synthesis follows nucleophilic substitution reaction to mechanism that is SN2 mechanism. Okay, now that is let us see the steps C2H5ONA that is sodium ethoxide dissociates into C2H5O minus plus Na plus. C2H5O minus plus C2H5I that is ethyl iodide gives you it is a slow step and a rate determining step here it forms an intermediate that is C2H5O which forms bond with C2H5 And here iodine leaves the group so it is I here and here both the nucleophiles that is O minus and I minus both of them are in the transition state so it follows SN2 mechanism and the other step is fast mechanism which follows the product C2H5O C2H5 this is called as diethyl ether okay now and the byproduct here na which liberated here and iodine which liberated here both form as sodium iodide okay now here in this case there are some few points which we need to remember in point of entrance okay that is we say that as ketones Yes, look at here. I have taken alkyl halide that is primary alkyl halide. Okay, so the tendency of generally what is the tendency of alkyl halides for SN2 mechanism is primary greater than secondary greater than tertiary. And the same alkyl halides, okay, for the case of elimination reactions, that is tertiary alkyl halides will be more preferable for secondary than primary. Okay. Now that means the alkyl halides what we take in Williamson synthesis must be primary and the al sodium alkoxide ions which we take in the Williamson synthesis must be tertiary or secondary. That means if we take tertiary alkyl halides elimination reactions are more preferred and if we take primary alkyl halides Williamson synthesis is more preferred. Okay, let us take the example of ethyl bromide that is primary alkyl halide and a sodium salt of tertiary butyl alcohol that is tertiary alkoxide. Okay, now when ethyl bromide reacts with sodium salt of tertiary butyl bromide, NaBr is separated out along with that the main product is C2H5 which forms bond with oxygen which is already connected with carbon CH3, CH3 and CH3. Okay, so we form the product. And next year, if we take a tertiary alkyl halide in the ketones, we said what is that? In the reaction, alkyl halide must be primary. And if we take tertiary alkyl halide, what is the reaction? Let us see. Okay. Here what is? When we take tertiary alkyl halides, elimination is more preferable than 
nucleophilic substitution reactions. So what happens? CH2 elimination, hydrogen is eliminated and CH2 which forms double bond with carbon which forms CH3, CH3 plus Br is eliminated which forms bond with sodium forming NaBr plus C2H5O and hydrogen forms bond as C2H5OH and here the another one if we take alkyl hal aryl halides if we take aryl halides as halogen group source or halogen source what is the fate of the reaction let us see here okay if aryl halides are taken as source of halogen the reaction does not take place because aryl halogen aryl halides does not undergo nucleophilic substitution reaction okay Thank you very much.